Pisces, welcome to your weekly sidereal forecast for September 14th to the 20th. My name is Athen. So we had that solar eclipse last Sunday, and it's starting off this week now uh, involving that sixth house of your routine. Lots of probably busy energy for a lot of you. I really appreciate when you guys comment down below too because it helps me understand a little bit more uh, tangibly uh, what, this, what you guys might be experiencing. I'm hearing uh, some of you talking about the busyness, and that's that's exactly what this is. Jupiter's expanding the sixth house. It's the daily activities. Uh, there is a lot of energy, though, a lot of motivation to be put into uh, the sixth house right now, but it's so important for you to be balancing that with your secondary ruler, Neptune, who is about patience, I mean peace, and just taking it easy and really easing up off the gas and getting that alone time, that spiritual time and um, tranquil time that is so important to you Pisceans. So it's that balancing act, you know, it's like how to take care of those daily things while at the same time, that alone time. But when you incorporate both, you can find that very, very, uh, very, very constructive. Now, Jupiter, who is your uh, primary or traditional ruler um, in the sixth house, does suggest that there is this sort of two... Uh, pronged element to this that a part of you is over here very busy and a part of you is over here so finding that middle point and this aspect is going to be going exact here on Thursday actually and Thursday is going to be a very important pivotal point of the week which I'll talk about but um, the thing is too is Jupiter rules your 10th house so matters relating to your career and your public life and just who you are where you're going that kind of thing is just it's going through this spiritual process where it's not all about figuring out who you are, what your goals are right now, where you're headed. All of that is supposed to be more internalized, more feeling your way through it, which is natural for you for you Pisceans. But um, through that naturally, especially with the career stuff as well, um, you'll find that um, it's creating a relaxing sphere. And it'll be through that relaxing sphere you can get a lot done and um, you can further pursue these things. But again, without needing to have it all figured out. So that's going to be um, exact that middle part of the week. And, and like I said, it's a pivotal point because we've got Mercury going retrograde. Before Mercury goes retrograde, Mercury sextiles Venus, and that's a shifting sort of energy. So with Mercury and Venus, first of all, um, you guys probably have been thinking uh, lately the past couple of weeks about relationships or maybe socializing, communicating, just feeling more communicative with others. And all that's about to go to a reflective sort of time period uh, midweek. But before that happens, Venus sextiling up to that Mercury can mean you guys can enjoy those relationships. You know, it's it's a good week for that. It's sort of slowing down. You'll feel Mercury's energy, the relationship stuff sort of slowing down. And uh, But that and also home and family, you know, spending time at home with family and uh, emotional connections you can find quite enjoyable. It's a lighter sort of energy. But then once Mercury starts to go retrograde, as always when Mercury goes retrograde, it's a time to reflect on those relationships. Mercury rules that seventh house, and it's a time to reflect on home and family matters or your emotional sphere going within. It's an introverted time for you, as it is for all of us to a degree, but with um, the, him, him being the ruler of your fourth house, certainly so. So uh, that sort of pause, that reflection going within, you'll find that facilitating these um, new beginnings and sort of paving the way with that. And um, it's that shifting point. So whatever it is, it's um, maybe realizing that, you know, it's, uh, it's a good idea to, you know, reflect on, you know, how you can have more of that peaceful, emotional connection into whatever it is that you're involved with. So that'll be shifting, and then Saturn does sextile up to the north node from that point onward. And um, that's going to be a very important transit, actually. Uh, this is all about the relationships which you have been forming or, or have been opening for you over the past couple years with the north node transiting that seventh house. So now a harmonious aspect from Saturn means that your relationships will probably start to become very solidified now for the coming weeks. And there's a gateway and opening here for you to have that maturity, that grounded approach in your one-on-one -on -one connections. And uh, all of that can really go a long ways because this solar eclipse is in your sixth house. So there are, there's new beginnings around work, around your routine, your health, your diet, and things like that. Um, but um, that's, that, you know, that's slow energy. And uh, what's been the case for you the past couple of years has been the seventh house, you know, with your one-on-one -on -one connections. And um, that's going to continue to evolve and continue to culminate while these new beginnings uh, continue to take place involving those sixth house matters. So Pisces, the high point is certainly the fact that you've got these new beginnings in the sixth house of what your, uh, what your routine is, what your work is, and your relationships are going through a sort of reflection and um, having that pause and that time out 
will help neutralize a lot of that energy. But it is about balancing both and not going to any extremes with one or the other. And then through that, you can find it really um, setting the foundation for these new beginnings involving these daily activities for you. So Pisces, have a good week. If you guys have any questions, please do let me know. If you're new to Sidereal Astrology, do check the description down below. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.